Artwork, critiques, Photoshop files and reference sheets are all available on my Patreon. Well hello there guys and girls, my name's Mikey, welcome back to my room, it's time for another tutorial. Now I thought today we could do things just slightly differently because YouTube recently have been uh, making me censor my thumbnails just because the algorithm's been picking things up and deciding it's getting it a little bit too curvy. It's fine, it happens. So the best natural response is to reduce the amount of curviness that we do in our tutorials. So uh, instead of anime and manga today, we're going to be taking a look at Western themed cartoons. We're going to be taking a look at how to draw absolute dump trucks. We're going to look at that Disney Pixar vibe for the mums with the thickest ratio of hip to thigh meat that is going on available anywhere. So don't blame me in this instance. These are very much the cartoons you'll find at the cinema aimed at your children with some very, very curvy ladies. I've seen it Mimi quite a lot recently and uh, I'm very much a cut your nose to spite your face kind of guy. So if you want to follow along at home, I have a super cheap disposable mechanical pencil. It's essentially a 2B. A ruler that's just going to help us very briefly measure out the head heights. We'll get poses in for these kind of absolute dump truck mums kind of look. Maybe back, front and side on just so that you can work at home with these own references. And if you want today's sheet as well as all of the others, they're available of course in my tutorials reference pack, link below just for a dollar. So I've got a few sheets of printer paper down so I have a slightly softer surface to work on. And what we're going to do is just very quickly down the side, measure out seven and a half inches on this A4 sheet of paper. And I'm just gonna use that as a very general guide to help me understand that one head height of my character will be about an inch. Roughly halfway down the body is going to be at that three and a half mark. And uh, it's just going to be a nice way to keep track of where I have the heads of my characters, where I've got the poses going on. So I thought the best way to actually uh, start out with this would be to take a look at the character from behind. That's obviously where a lot of the focus is, but also it's a nice opportunity to actually just talk about some shape language. Now, essentially, Instead of using our very strict building blocks, with these more westernized cartoon styles where we get to think about more interesting curves and shapes, um, we're just going to break down four main sections. We've got a small oval shape that might be the head. Now this is just very rough, don't worry. We're going to have a triangle shape that's going to represent the top torso and just help guide when we put in our other building blocks and other shapes. There's a great big semicircle that's essentially going to be the nice wide hips and then a couple of triangles, very acute, pointing down and these kind of help describe where we've got the legs. This overall shape and design is kind of a bit like a very old um, African fertility symbol of some sort or maybe a um, pre-war art deco bronze statue of a very kind of voluptuous lady. Anyway, I'll flip this paper over as well and keep it here just so that the natural greases in my hand don't actually affect the page. But really, let's just crack on. So I'm going to start off with the head of the character just by drawing a circle up here, which is going to take up the majority of that head height space. I will try to make sure that I keep my line work relatively dark so that you guys can see it on the camera at home. And because this character is going to be looking away, we'll focus on the rear for the moment. I'm just going to have maybe the center line of the back part of the head around about here. It'll meet into the neck as we come down that circle. I'm just going to flatten off the edge ever so slightly and then just kind of curve down a little bit of cheek shape towards the jaw down there. And with these kind of uh, Disney Pixar mum types, uh, the ears tend to be kind of a lot smaller circles that just kind of flap out on the side like so. And then I'm just going to think very quickly about my center line or my weight as it rolls down the spine of a character. So I'm just going to have this character standing here. Um, the chest will be out, but the hips are going to be popping right back to make the rump stick right out for us. And then our center kind of weight line will be somewhere around here. So I just want to make sure that the feet end up on either side of the line, doesn't really matter where, as long as that center line is supported. And then I'm just going to think about those shapes we just mentioned. So if I've got a shoulder line to my character sitting just down here somewhere, and then contra posto, another line that's going to be around about that halfway mark that I've marked there, just uh, ever so slightly going in against each other, not perfectly parallel, keep it interesting. And then now I'm going to think about those triangles. Now those Disney Pixar moms you get on things like The Incredible and I think um, there was a short animated Disney film which has um, that famous image of a redhead character with the crazy wide hips to um, waist ratio. So I've got a kind of triangle shape that I'm sweeping down here 
incredibly thin around the waist right there. And now I'm just thinking of this great big curve. Yeah, really going for it. Just like so around about here. And I'm just going to kind of sweep right down here, have these loose guiding lines, have some fun with it because these are just going to help us place things in a minute. And then in a very similar way, right where I've got this line cutting off, I might just kind of sweep a little bit down here as well just like that and then now I'm just going to go up towards the middle one great big triangle shape here and then one great big triangle shape here and then around about halfway down that leg part is where we're going to be popping in our knee joints and so on and some feet at the bottom but I have essentially very loosely done exactly that this very big on the bottom not too large on top for the way they design them in those western cartoons character and now we're going to be putting in our standard building blocks that you might see that we use a lot in our anime style so Let's just come down here with a neck as it goes into the uh, trapezius muscles and other bits down the back of the spine. We're going to have this egg-like elliptical shape, which is going to be the chest area of our character, the rib cage, so to speak, just like so. I might have um, a shoulder circle just up here and one just up here as we fill up that triangular space. Looking from behind, I'm probably going to Imagine this scapula area, so I've got these kind of triangle shapes just sweeping down here for the shoulder blades. I'm not going to get into too much detail or worry about that too much. Um, the arms I'm going to keep out of the way. It's not too important, so I'm just going to have maybe uh, one arm coming down there. So the top part of the arm goes as drops as far as the bottom of a rib cage. This one, let's just put it up to the front somewhere and then this one I'll just sweep down there and then as we make our way down the body I'm going to join things up with a very small circle in this instance just to help with my guiding and then sweeping out now right around where we've got this rump area so we need to split this into uh, the glutes for bum cheeks and I'm just going to do that by splitting these into two big grape shapes two big semi-elliptical shapes where the ellipses are just leaning into each other so we've got a sweep here in this direction and then very similar a sweep here going up in this direction just like that and then down here you can imagine we're going to fit a triangle shape as the lumbar region of the spine works up and in and then right about here right about there might be where the bum dimples are on a differently proportioned character the superior posterior iliac spine I think um, but we're just going to start to sweep down the legs because all the focus is on that bum's hip and thigh so if I imagine that this character's leg is coming down here and this one over here is actually much straighter then I'm going to just put in our knees, our circle joints about here and about here. And although things are very thick up top with that kind of Disney Pixar look, they sweep out actually quite thin as they make their way down the leg as well. So I'm going to imagine that we've got this uh, big cylindrical thigh shape coming in here. I'm just going to sweep that leg down. I'm going to bring it in a lot more on the back side edge as we come down towards things here. And I'm going to do a similar thing on the other side. Let's just fill in the gap with the privates just there. Just kind of bridge that space. And then I'm just going to squeeze out and then sweep into a slightly longer line as we go back down here. Following this curve that we've kind of delineated as a slightly straighter edge as we sweep down here. Just sweeping these into semi-oval shapes as they meet towards these knee circles. And then just deciding, okay, well now we're going to just follow down the leg by again just doing this kind of gentle egg shape. But you'll notice not very thick at all as we then just kind of sweep that down into a slightly more cylindrical shape uh, right up towards the bottom kind of half of the head height and i'm just going to now imagine that this is the um, the back heel of the foot around about there maybe there's some heels going on i'm going to have the leg just kind of camber a little bit in and then the foot's going to go down here maybe there's some heels going on that's always a nice way to pop the shape of the leg anyway and then maybe there's just going to be the slight edge of the front toe parts around about there i'm not worrying about the form of the foot too much we do need to get some more feet tutorials going in the future just so i can add that to the reference pack um, and i do apologize for not doing any masterpieces but it's all about getting that shape language in so then we're going to come down this other leg i've got this kneecap facing ever so slightly towards the right i'm going to have this curve be less prominent on the inside edge as we make our sweep down in a very similar manner but have the curve pop out a lot more on the outside edge as we make our way in 
and then sweep down towards her ankle. And I'm using these guides and shapes, but I'm still going to tighten up and reform these lines. This is all still part of our guide that's going to help us. So let's have this heel popping out down about there. And then we'll have the foot sweeping down as it does to about here, different sections but we break it down into, and then the toes at the front, and then we can kind of come back up and just have a look at this form and shape once more. I'll quickly get some very thin arms in. They don't make the arms that thick on the female characters in the Disney Pixar stuff. So one sweep there, a cylinder that's a bit thicker near the elbow there, and then I'm just gonna have a kind of paddle shape to represent a hand somewhere over there. And as for the shoulder up here, let's go over to this elbow circle, join it up with a line. Let's have this arm come in and sweep over there towards the front of her face. And maybe she's just kind of shielding her eyes as she looks off into the distance, something like that. But let's just come around that edge. I'm just going to make sure that as I have everything coming up in here towards the back, we're following this rib cage line around here, but it's going super Disney Pixar thin around the waist. So I'm just sweeping down before very suddenly sweeping out across those curves there. Um, there might just be an edge of boob of these characters, but again, they don't make them too busty. Um, it's all about that thigh. So let's just sweep down here like so. Again, because there's a bit of uh, lean and popping out the hips towards the back, uh, we can sweep in on this edge before we suddenly catch the outer rim of this bum line down here. And then as I come down this leg, I'm just going to triangle, triangle up these shapes a bit more so it fits that kind of Disney Pixar form. So I'm just going to sweep this line as it makes its way in here. Fantastic, there's our knee there. And then we're just coming down this leg as it goes thin to the ankle here. And on the outside edge, I'm just gonna come right out a little bit more. And then I'm gonna bring this line in a little bit further, a bit more camber as we come in to this leg there. Let's just slightly erase as we come up that edge around there, just like so. Then obviously we've got some shapes in here, maybe like a uh, triangular shape to show the meeting in at the back of the knee and then sweeping out and just reducing the amount of thickness I've got around the calves because I really just fall into these kind of pin points with these characters. And then very similar around here. I've got some edge in here, but I'm gonna just bring that sweep and that curving line in a little bit stronger and a little bit firmly down that triangle shape, sweeping over this leg right down into that one and then letting it get nice and wide again out on that part of the hip before we actually drop right in and then follow that leg all the way down to there. So what I'm going to do now guys, I hope that gives you a bit of an idea. We've gone crazy crazy big you might be thinking crikey mikey you've gone mad what are you doing trust me take a look at some of these disney pixar mums uh, we're going to do another copy of the character facing towards us but i thought we better start with a behind because we've got so many tutorials where we have front facing uh, characters from basic blocks uh, and then i'm going to do another from the side so we have this as an overall pose reference and i'll also just tighten up some of these shapes and map over the surface of the curves so that you can really see what shapes i'm describing and i'll see you guys right at the end
Okay there guys, and yeah, welcome back. So hopefully when I've put together these other examples of poses, uh, the key thing to think about is I'm still using some very kind of particular shapes to help inform this kind of super fertile kind of body shape that we've got going on here. So, and we've still got this triangular shape across the chest. Obviously I'm still putting in the kind of rib cage oval and so on, but I'm helping dictate that area with a triangular point that makes things incredibly skinny around the waist before we then just pop out to these massive half circles for um, where the hips are located. And these legs ideally are just kind of imagined as dropping down into pinpoints each time around. I've probably still kept things uh, relatively thick at the bottom part of the calves just because I'm kind of locked into that anime and manga style with what I do. I'm trying to uh, ground these in reality but the thing is with that Disney Pixar um, dump truck kind of look uh, they're very fluid dynamic organic shapes these massive curves that they're able to render with those 3D models. So I'm doing my best to guesstimate, okay, well maybe the bucket of the hips will start around about here if it's coming towards us, we'll kind of be seeing in the top zone, there we've got the edges of the bone as they pop out, this is where we kind of meet into the thighs and so on and build things up, and obviously so much curve before we flip into the underside of a rump, around about here on the bum, I've not done a perfect circle but we're kind of sweeping down then curving in much more sharply as the uh, back of the glutes meets into the rear part of the thigh and so on. And uh, really, I hope this, guys, uh, gives you a bit of an idea of what's going on with that Disney Pixar look. Now, again, today's episode is a little bit more tongue-in-cheek. We're just having some fun, really, uh, in response to YouTube and how they kind of run things around here. I'm not having a moan. I'm just kind of uh, playing about. But of course, we will be moving back to a lot more useful anime and manga tutorials in the future. We've got clothing and all sorts of other bits that we need to be diving into in a bit more detail. And right now, my delicious friend, you're probably seeing a load of names scrolling on screen. Because if you want to grab um, this particular reference sheet, I'll add it to my tutorials pack. The entire set is available for just a dollar on Patreon. It really helps me out. It's why I'm actually able to make free drawing tutorials because I want you guys to get involved if possible. And an extra big shout out to Marissa, Brendan J, Hamong Chi L, Mighty Mega X, Danny S, and Ahmad T, last month's highest tier delicious patrons. And uh, yeah, there's a few things here. I think maybe this lady's just about to tip over backwards and so on. But if you guys really just want to dive in and have a load of fun, remember, this is actually the Western Pixar method. Don't blame me. This is how they like to do things. But thank you so much, you delicious people at home, for following along, subscribing to the channel, and get yourself in the comments section. What do we need to be learning next time around? Until then, take care. <laughs> 